I know many of you looked at me when I came in in my camo, but I want you to know I'm I, I, I'm in a war. Amen. That's right. That's right. And I don't know about you, but uh, when it's time for war, you got to put on your war clothes. And God has allowed me. He's afforded me. He's honored me. The privilege of meeting everyone here. Amen. Giving on to God who's the head of my life to the angel of this house. Amen. And Amen. a new sister, a new friend. Yes. Pastor May White. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. To a dangerous overseer. Come on, what you saying? She is dangerous. If you've never had the privilege of being in her presence, you need to go there at least once. Because you might not want to go back again. Because she is high powered. And to the bishop that's in the house, I don't know your name yet. <laughs> but I will. Yes, you will. To uh, Pastor, no. Why are you hiding behind the pole? I need to. I need to know. Well, I'm gonna let you know. I'm gonna call you out. So just be prepared. To uh, my good, good friend, sister, international person, Pastor Bowers. Amen. 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 You don't understand what she means to me. Amen. Uh, you, you, you would think that we've known each other forever. Amen. But it hasn't been that long to the evangelist in the house. Amen. We call it a thug. She, uh, <laughs> she will cut you. Yes. Oh, that's, 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 my, that's, that's my backup right there. Amen. <laughs> And I bless God for it to mothers, to the mothers that's in the front row. Yes, yes. Amen. To all the brothers in the house. Amen. I want you to know that God is so happy mm. and pleased that you're in the house of God. Yes. Amen. You're not standing outside looking in, but Amen. you're here to be a part yes. of what he is doing in the life. Grace, mercy, and peace be unto you from God our Father and the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yes. It is an honor, and I count this not but a privilege and an honor to be asked to do this, Pastor White. Yes. Uh, I've been having a strange couple of weeks, but I know it's all because God is doing what he does Come best. On. Come on. And he's moving his weight around. He's keeping his foot on the enemy's neck. And he's not letting anything yes. happen now. to many Amen. of the people of God. Amen. Now, let's just be honest. Oh, first, Pastor, can I be as real as possible? Yes, please. Obey God. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. I want you to know that we have so many people that, that's claiming salvation that ain't saved. Amen. They're standing around. They are, what's, what the word say? They're doing a form of God. But Pastor, let, let, let me give you a little revelation about that. You can't deny stuff that you never had. You can't deny something you know nothing about. So now, remember, I'm in my war clothes now. I haven't got my jump boots on. So I'm in a different army. I'm in the army of the Lord. And he Amen. Is He is doing things that I don't know what it is about you. I'm going to find out before this night is over. You. You, yeah. I need you to know I didn't come here to play games. 
I didn't come here to act like just come on, come on. saying yeah. It's come not on. about that. No, it's not. Because the mandate has come down from on high that come it's on. time for the apostles to make the crooked straight. Yeah. To yeah. make everything yeah. what it needs to be. Amen. And it's time to get this thing back yeah. in order. Hallelujah. And I'm going to tell you this, now ladies, don't lose your mind, but the reason why everything is out of control is because the brothers are out of control. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Wow. When God gave the men the covenant, he gave us the tool to build. Yeah. Amen. The, the tool to make the foundation. Yeah. But so many men are MIA yeah. that they don't even understand that because they have moved yeah. out of position, yeah. that yeah. everything that got moved out of position. Yeah. Yeah. Things need to be realigned, things yeah. need to be set back. And when the mandate came down, the funny part about this, uh -huh. I talk about Mother Bowers. Uh, Talking much. I ain't coming to your house no more. Uh, but what she didn't realize is before I even came to the house that day, that God has said there's something that needs to happen. And he told me what it was. Then I get to Mother Bauer's house, she dropped the hammer. Amen. 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 And Pastor Bowers and Mother Bowers can tell you right now that that Sunday morning, Come on. Yeah. the hammer was dropped. <laughs> Playtime is over oh, in the kingdom of God. Come on. We have too many things happening in the kingdom. Yes, sir. Hmm. When they talk about the kingdom suffering violence, it's because the people of God is throwing stones. Wow. Come on. Take your time. The people that are supposed to understand who God is, they're the one causing the most havoc. They get into these ministries and they get four faces. And they're all fighting against each other. I don't know about you, but I got no trouble with the one I got. I don't need no extra face that's going to tell me, oh my God. The song says, Fred Hammond sang a song that said, My troubles told me to sit down. Uh, what in the world uh, is that? Uh, uh, How was my trouble going to tell me to take a seat? Come on now. When I was supposed to be the one standing. Stand. Yeah. Uh, uh, All right. If I don't stand for these young brothers, uh, then I'm showing them that it's easy to quit. Yeah. Wow. But the devil is a lie, there ain't no truth in it. What do you say? I'm too legit to quit. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I ain't going nowhere. Yes, sir. If you see me laying in the street, pick me up. Yes, yes. And I still won't quit. Come on. Because the devil is on a rampage. Yes, but yes, here yes. is the clue. Yes, he He's never left his seat in hell. Come on. All right, all right. Everybody said the devil's riding on my back. Stop lying. The devil has specialists that's right. That's right. that he sends out that's right. Come on now. to do what he tells them what to do and who to do it to. And you so simple-minded, yes, I said simple-minded. You so simple-minded to you believe that everything that's going on is the devil. Let me help you out. Sometimes it's not the devil. Come on. Yes, sir. Come on. Yes, sir. You tell me. Most times it's you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Other times it's God trying to see can you really stay? Yeah. Mm, come on. You call yourself a pastor, you call yourself a, a, a bishop, an apostle, and all that stuff. And God's going to test you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's right. Yes. Oh, yes, he will. Yes, sir. Now, don't think that just because we carry these titles, come on, come on, come on, come on about that. we don't get tested like anybody else. That's right. That's right. That's right. We have bad days too. Yeah. Now, don't be honest about me. If you catch me on a bad day, you might not want to talk to me no more. I'm going to tell you right now. Uh, see, you, you see, people think because we do this that we forgot how to fight and cuss. Sir. I might not do it, Sir. but I didn't forget how to. Amen. 
And I don't wear this camouflage just to make it look good. I wear it because a statement is that God wants some people that's going to stand up and fight. Amen. Are you willing to fight? Yes, sir. Yes. Or are you going to be that person behind the wall door? <laughs> like David's brothers did. They was hiding in, in the bushes. I'm sorry. I just went too far. Today, didn't I? Nope, I didn't go far down. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray and I thank you. I thank you for being God all by yourself. Yes, God. I thank you for this opportunity that you can use me so you can say what you need to say. Thank you, Lord. Lord, allow these people to take it to somebody and let them know that you can get up and you can make it. Yes. Lord, bless their families, bless their friends. Thank you, Lord. Bless the one that they want to see saved and give them the unction and the bones are going to tell them that you need to be saved. Thank you, Lord. Bless this house like it's never been blessed before. Yes. Thank Take them where they've never been. Show them what they've never had. My God. And give them what they never had. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Evangelist, come here for a second, please. I need you. I told you I got back up. Back up right there. Is this all right, Pat? Can I do this? All right, I, just want to, you know, I don't want to be out of order. It's living in here, that's right. Living in here. That glasses, right? Start there. Start there. The thief cometh not. Stop, stop. Now look at how it starts out. You can, you can sit in the chair if you want to. He cometh. So there's no reason for anybody to not understand that he's here. Okay. There's no reason why we have to look around and wonder where he's at. Right. Well, <laughs> the Lord said, he cometh. Now, that was then. To the day, he's here. Yes, yes. The thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. Stop. Mm. His dossier. That's the Bible heard me say this before. His dossier is laid out for you. You have no reason not to understand what he's doing. That's right. That's right. So why is it that in these ministries, we call them churches, but we're the church, so yeah. this is nothing but a building. Yes, yes. Why is it that these ministries are so scared to be men and women? Come on, come on. Why are they so scared to get out there and do what the Bible says? It said to go into the hedges and the highways. It didn't say stay inside a building and become a couch potato. It didn't say that. We need our evangelists to get out. Yes. Yes. I, don't I, I don't want you to cut me off. They need to get out there and evangelize. What is their role? To go out, run some revivals, compel the people to come so that when they get to the house of God, the people that maybe <laughs> that may be equipped Sidebar. If your leader ain't equipped, the rest of your house is going to be a mess. Your house will fall like a deck of cards. Because it says that it flows from the head. But what happens when you cut the head off? The body falls. So let's stop food, let's stop Lord yes. Jesus. Let's stop playing this game yes. thinking that we all sanctified. No, We're right. not sanctified. <laughs> Sanctification is a process. Yes. And in the process, you got to go through some yes. stuff. Amen. You got to learn some yes. stuff. You got to you got to bump your head yes. several times. Yes, you got to fall down. Yes. And at the same time, you got to get up and dust yes. yourself yes. off. Oh. Hallelujah. But so many of our people 
that calls themselves saints don't even realize that you ain't called a saint until you die. Mm. So wait a minute. Do we have a bunch of sanctuaries for the dead people? Is it a cemetery? I need to know because if so, I ain't going. But it tells us the enemy is on a mission. What about you? Or are you just going to sit there and be like, I'm going to wait for my pastor to send me. There's four corners on every block. There's nursing homes. There's the VA. Get up. I'm going to tell you like my mother said. Get up off your rusty dusty and do something. And, and, and here's the good thing. Oh, hallelujah. They say, what do you want to do? They give you the chance to pick. And even if you're not really able to do it, there should be somebody to teach you how to do it. Amen. That's right. But Lord have mercy. What you need to understand is when the enemy is coming, it's because he's seen what God is is doing with you. Wow. That's what revelation is. Mm. Break it down. The first part is to reveal. When God reveals it to you, which is the only way the enemy can see it, once he reveals it, it's, oh, wait a minute. Uh, somebody get depression for me. Somebody call an alcoholic for me. You're like, wait a minute. Listen, get up here now. We got somebody up here trying to get saved. Yeah, well, that's right. Come on. And the problem is why many people aren't getting saved is because the people that surrounded them ain't got no power. Wow. Oh. 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 My God. My God. Sir. My God. I'm sorry. Let me go back here where it's said. Yeah. That's it. That's it. No yeah. power. Ain't got no power. Yeah. And, and when there's no power. There's no progression. So how are we supposed to teach these brothers how to be brothers when the brothers are MIA? That's right. That's right. How do we teach the sisters? All right, sidebar. Come on. I got a lot of sidebars. Come on now. I don't care what anybody says, but a young woman, the first love they find out about is from their father. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Wow. And if they don't get it, they're going to search for it. That's right. That's right. But will they get the right thing? Uh -huh. mm. You can look out in the street and see. Yeah. Girls got their pants down here now. That's right. Boys got their pants even lower. That's right. I don't know how they walk around. They, how do you do that? <laughs> I don't get that. <laughs> they make me tired looking at them. <laughs> But that's why it's important for the people in leadership to get some boldness and start letting these people know that for God I live and for God, and for God I will die. I'll die. Amen. You, your mama, your uncle, your sister from across the street. You're not going to separate me from it. Yes, because when you get something sure, yes, yes. when you get something pure, ain't nothing better than that. Amen. Nothing Amen. better than that. Amen. Jesus. Read. I am, I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Now, the Lord said, because if you didn't know, I'm going to tell you right now. That was him who said that. He said that the enemy come. He had a meeting. He told everybody. The enemy is coming to kill, steal, 
and destroy anything that has to do with you and me. That's right. But I am. Back then he was I am. Today he, oh Lord have mercy. Wait a minute. Back then he was I am. Then he wrapped himself in some flesh and called himself Jesus. Came down to heaven. Came down from heaven. Got on the cross. For you, 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 all of us in here. Amen. Then when he got off the cross, he went and took a nap. But what they thought was a nap, he went to hell. Slap the devil in his mouth. Mm, come on. Which, I don't know if you realize this, he went down and slapped his own son. Said, boy, give me my dog on key. But when he was down there, he was his brother. Mm. Took the keys and made an announcement. Anybody that's ready to get up out of here, follow me. <laughs> the Bible lets us know that they came out. Mm. And they all kept going. Mm. But Jesus didn't leave yet. That's right. I'm way off my sister. <laughs> As he walked, somebody tried to touch him. So, uh, mm. Don't touch me. Mm -hmm. I have not yet a sin. That's right. Meaning, I can't carry no more. Mm. I'm taking on everything a world can yeah. give me. Wow. Yes. Mm. Yes. They beat me. Ooh, they right. spit on me. Mm. Mm. They cut me. Yeah. What they didn't realize when my blood spilled on the ground, yeah. the earth shook. Mm. Mm. Come on. If you look at Acts mm -hmm. chapter 27, I believe, on the 13th verse. I'm going to sleep somewhere else now. The Bible says that there was a temptuous storm. Mm -hmm. They even gave it a name. Mm -hmm. Eurachlodon. Oh. I know many don't, don't know that word. But it was a strong, it was a strong storm. Mm -hmm. yes. And when you break yeah. that word down, the first part of it is Euro. Mm -hmm. Meaning it was a foreign rogue storm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now how many of you got caught in a storm that you had no idea where it came mm. from? Yeah. And when it got there, you got nervous. Let's be honest. Yeah. You got scared. Mm -hmm. You tried to go hide. But there was no place to hide. Mm. My brother Peter, he said, I don't know about y'all. I got to go see Jesus right now. Jesus was asleep. As the kids said, he was chilling, getting his rest on. And he went to wake him up. And Jesus was like, I had picked you. And you can't handle this? <laughs> now how many places I think in your sanctuary is dealing with people that claim they got power to take care of demons and they can even take care of themselves. Oh. Wow. 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 Let's be honest, right? Here. Yeah. We got several pastors in here. If you think about it, you can start seeing the people as, as they roll by like a movie. Uh, yeah. No, you ain't got no power. Uh, yeah. You ain't got no power. Uh, I don't know what you're doing. Uh, 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 <laughs> but the difference is, if your leader is tapped out, mm. you gotta have time to rest. Yeah. Because people have the innate ability of draining you like a spiritual leech. Mm. Oh, I need the pastor to take care of this for me. I need the pastor to do this. I need the pastor to do that. Um, I got a question for you. What you get in ministry for? Because all the pastors, bishops, apostles, all, all, all their job is is to train you so you can replicate what's been done. Amen. 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 That 
I'm not supposed to do it all and be burnt out. Mm, come on. They're supposed to be able to train you if you're a prostitute, take you from a prostitute to a prophet. Come on. Come on. Teach you how to go back out into the very element that you came from and compel some more of them. Say, listen, you know I was just out here a few minutes ago. But I met a man called Jesus. Man, come on. And when I met him, he took time to talk to me. He took some time to hear what was on my heart. Come on. He took some time to tell me that your life is not in vain. Amen. You might have went down the wrong road, but guess what? I can put you on a street. Thank you. But are you willing to go? Now, let me, let me take something about Jesus. He don't force you to do nothing. I don't care what the rest of these clowns say. He don't force you to do anything. He asks you if you want to do it. He don't say, well, I need to get up and go walk down the street. He says this. Like he told his disciples. There's a donkey down by this house. I need you to go get him. They could have said no. But they didn't because they respected him. Yeah, that's right. yeah. Amen. They knew who they was walking with. That's right. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. You used to make, make you wonder how you ever walk with him and don't know him. That's right. That's right. All right now. That's right. Wow. That's right. That's the question. Come on. Yeah. You don't walk with him. Right. Right. We, we done almost prayed together. <laughs> and you still don't understand? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. leaders, think about your own house and look at the people who are like, yes, yes. after all of this, yes, sir. Yes, sir. you yes, still yes. don't understand? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> what are you looking for? <laughs> If you waiting for God to come, check your heart. Mm. Yes, sir. Isn't that what you're supposed to Amen. Do? I don't know. Am I wrong? Tell me. Talk to me. If he's not in your heart, I'm sorry. If he's not in your soul, then all you guys are holding your chest. Mm. They ain't going to let me come back here no more. They ain't going to let me come back. I don't know. They, they say, gee, I'm having a conversation. Don't, don't get in my way. They say they want me to come back. They don't want me to come back. Yeah, you're going to come back here. Amen. But I want you to know something. It's harvest time. Amen. Amen. Yes, it is. 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 Yes, Prudence. Mm. Women and produce a harvest of 30, 60, uh. or even a hundred times a mu as much as had been planted. Hold it right there. Mm. Mm -hmm. The Lord has let us know yes, God. that when the seed is planted, yes, that He wasn't going to be the one to harvest it. The scripture says one plants, one waters, and the other one harvests. But it's time for us to stop playing this game that we know how to harvest. Now, we're not farmers. I don't know, maybe a couple of y'all might be. <laughs> But a farmer is somebody who knows when it's time.
time to pick the hearts. Mm. The scripture says, and she has it right there, where they said that master, the wheat has grown with weeds. Should we go out and pick them? He said no. We're going to wait until it's full grown. But here's the revelation to that. Because he's already laid it 